Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 best amazing new 2024 Hyper Naked Bikes first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Kawasaki has unveiled its 2024 lineup for the international markets and the list of motorcycles in Kids, the updated Z900 Roadster. The Indian arm of the Japanese manufacturer already offers this motorcycle in our market and thus we expect to see the 2024 iteration on our shores very soon. However, unlike the US market, India will only get the standard version of the motorcycle. For reference, Kawasaki offers the Z900 and Z900 SE in the US. The latter benefits from a lean source suspension and Brembo calipers. The visual changes to the 2024 Kawasaki Z900 are limited to the updated color palette. This motorcycle is listed in two paint options on the company's US website. The options include candy persimmon red with ebony and metallic spark black with metallic matte dark gray. Meanwhile, the styling remains unaltered, and the 2024 Z900 retains a ZH2 inspired design. This includes a shark design for the headlight, a muscular fuel tank, split style seats, side slung exhaust, and 17 inch alloy wheels. The hardware, too, remains unaltered, and the standard version of the 2024 model continues to use 41mm upside down front forks and a rear monoshock. The anchoring setup on this model includes dual 300mm discs at the front and a single 250mm rotor at the back. Then, the mechanical specifications retain the 948cc, inline four-cylinder, liquid-cooled engine. The India-bound model will be tuned to comply with the E20 fuel requirements. The India launch details of the 2024 Kawasaki Z900 are not available yet. The upcoming 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke R has made another appearance. It has been spotted testing closely in Europe and the new spy shots reveal many details of the upgraded Austrian Street Fighter. KTM will likely remove the vertically stacked LED slats and replace them with LED projector headlights flanked by boomerang-shaped DRLs. Even the fuel tank shape along with its extensions, the rear seat and the overall design seems much more aggressive than before. While the 1390 Duke is set to look just as sporty and youthful, the cuts increases seem to have increased evidently. It'll be powered by KTM's LC8V2 twin motor, but the output could possibly receive a small bump. In the current 1390 Duke, the engine makes about 180 brake horsepower and 140 newton meters. Even the engine tune could be slightly altered. This motor is linked to a six-speed gearbox and gets a bi-directional quickshifter. Other rider aids like traction control, ABS, ride modes, wheelie control and engine braking levels are also expected on the 2024 KTM 1390 Ducar. We also expect KTM to offer features like smartphone connectivity for navigation, call, music and SMS notifications. The 2024 Suzuki GSX-S1000 remains the performance standard for naked sport bikes by providing superb controllability, agility, and power for an exciting and rewarding riding experience, while complying with worldwide emission standards. The long-stroke GSX-R1000 engine and nimble chassis combined with sharp, angular styling established the GSX-S1000 as a naked street fighter ready to turn heads and own the streets. Styling immediately draws your attention to the GSX-S1000. Clean, straight lines make it clear that this light and muscular, naked sport bike is a serious contender. It is hard not to stare at the stacked monofocus LED headlights housed in a minimalistic cowling that resides between a pair of MotoGP-inspired winglets protruding from the angular radiator shrouds. The GSXR-based engine is exposed as a clear message to others that this motorcycle makes more peak power with a broad torque curve that delivers street-dominating power. 
Riders can keep that power under control with the electronic ride-by-wire throttle bodies and the latest version of the Suzuki Clutch Assist System SCAS, that smooths shifting and engine braking. There is more GSXR DNA in the chassis with its aluminum, twin-spar frame design and superbike-braced swing arm. The suspension features a fully adjustable, inverted KYB fork and easy-to-adjust rear shock. Stopping performance is supplied by dual, ABS-equipped asterisk asterisk, radial-mounted, four-piston Brembo front brake calipers and 310mm floating rotors. A wide-cast aluminum handlebar provides a comfortable reach and the proper leverage to hustle the GSX-S1000 through the corners and maneuver in tight city streets and traffic. The 2024 GSX-S1000 continues to have the Suzuki Intelligent Ride System S -I -R -S, in its corner. Make this bike your own using the 3 mode Suzuki Drive mode selector and the updated 5 mode and off advanced traction control asterisk system. Give your clutch hand a rest with the bi directional quick shift system. The 125 Duke was KTM's first shot at a small Duke and the 2023 machine is largely unaltered from the design that debuted a dozen years ago in 2011. It's all changed for 2024, though, with a completely new small capacity Duke range that starts with the comprehensively redesigned 125. As before, the 125 Duke shares its central structure with the larger 390 Duke and the 250 Duke that isn't offered in the UK market, but there are visual clues to pick out the smaller machine. Slightly slimmer side panels jut forward from the sides of the tank, for instance, and the 125 Duke's new LED headlight, while sharing the revamped family look of the 2024 390 Duke, is shorn of the glitzy DRL strips on the nose panels that flank it. Beyond that, there's little clue that you're riding the Learner Legal 125 instead of its much more powerful sister model, and while it can't match the 390's performance the smaller bike has a nearly identical chassis promising class-leading handling. Renewing ITS commitment to big thrills in the small CC market, KTM has just announced its completely reworked single-cylinder Duke models for 2024. Boasting revamped LC4C power plants, a new chassis and sharper aesthetics, the new Duke 390, 250 and 125 models continue to deliver class-leading technology and hooliganism in the entry-level naked bike scene. The 2024 Dukes are based on an all-new, two-piece chassis, consisting of a lightweight steel trellis frame with a die-cast aluminum subframe improving torsional rigidity and enhancing road feedback the Austrians say. The swing arm is also redesigned for 24, as it contours around a new offset rear shock, which allows for a lower seat height. Measuring 31.5 inch across all three models, all but the shortest riders will sit comfortably in the saddle. KTM's range of single-cylinder engines also received significant revisions. The new 2024 Honda CB400 concept was digitally conceived to bring to life the imagination of what the highly anticipated Honda CB400 would look like in the 2024 model year. This creation represents a bold approach by Honda, which seeks to be at the forefront of innovation and revolutionary design. Innovative and bold design. The design of the new 2024 Honda CB400 concept is a true example of aesthetic engineering, combining bold elements and futuristic lines. Every detail has been carefully thought out to offer a unique and attractive visual experience. The motorcycle's fluid, aggressive body shapes convey a sense of speed and dynamism, while the integrated LED headlamps provide a sharp, modern look. Advanced Technical Specifications The new 2024 Honda CB400 concept features advanced technical specifications that promise high performance and efficiency. Although the exact information about the engine is merely conceptual, the bike is expected to be equipped with a latest generation engine, capable of delivering exceptional power and torque. State-of-the-art technology employed in the fuel injection system and electronic management will provide an enhanced driving experience. High-performance wheels. 
The new 2024 Honda CB400 concept wheels are designed to offer a perfect combination of stability and agility. Manufactured with light and durable materials, they contribute to reducing the total weight of the motorcycle, allowing for greater efficiency and maneuverability. The unique wheel design not only adds a sporty look, but also improves heat dissipation from the brakes, providing reliable performance in different riding conditions. Powerful Motorization New Honda CB1000R looks mighty impressive in its Hornet-inspired avatar, the CB1000R is an important motorcycle for Honda. Yet, it hasn't undergone a major update since 2018 and feels rather dated in the much competitive leader class Street Fighter segment. According to the latest rumors, however, the naked is all set to go under the knife and come out in an all-new avatar with more of everything, performance, aggression, sportiness. Taking this into perspective, Japan's young machine has whipped up a render of the new CB which appears mighty impressive, more importantly, capable enough to take on rivals like the Suzuki GSX-S1000 and the Yamaha MT-10. According to rumors, the CB1000R will shed its minimalistic neo-retro skin to slip into a sportier attire. It'll take inspiration from the Honda Hornet CB750's edgy styling and one-up it with even more aggression. The render shown here paints the same picture, evident from the transformer-like fascia, sleek tail, and brawny tank shrouds. Another notable detail is the massive radiator and its partnering grille that add even more beef to the mix. The thing we most look forward to, however, is the upgrade in performance. You see, the current Gen CB1000 art draws its 998 cubic centimeters. Suzuki France has taken the wraps off the new special edition of the GSX-8S middleweight street bike. It comes with a livery that is fancier than the standard model along with a bunch of accessories. Although this bike won't come to India anytime soon, we have compiled a few drool-worthy images and details of the motorcycle for enthusiasts. While the overall bodywork is the same as the standard bike, it is adorned with a special Suzuki Endurance Racing Team livery that celebrates the company's success in the Endurance World Championship EWC. These decals enhance the visual appeal of the motorcycle and make it look even more muscular, especially around the fuel tank section. The accessories featured on this edition as standard include tank pads, a windscreen, and a tail tidy kit that are more of visual elements than functional. The mechanical specifications of the GSX-8S Cert Edition are unchanged and it continues to be powered by a 776 cubic centimeters, parallel twin, liquid-cooled engine that delivers a maximum power and peak torque output of 81.8 brake horsepower and 78 newton meters, respectively. Adding to the ease of use are some crucial electronic aids like a traction control system, up and down quick shifter, an easy start system, low RPM assist, and three riding modes. Underpinned by a steel tubular frame, the bike rides on 17-inch alloy wheels suspended by USD forks and a monoshock, both sourced from KYB. Stopping power comes from Nissan calipers at both ends. With the Suzuki GSX-8S now available in nearly all parts of the world, it's safe to say that the Japanese manufacturer has broken the stigma of it sitting on its laurels when it comes to innovation. You could go as far as saying that the new middleweight naked bike sets a new standard in the category, delivering more performance and technology than some of its counterparts, along with the equally new Honda CB750 Hornet. This year marks 30 years since the inception of Ducati's iconic monster family. The Italian brand is celebrating the occasion by rolling out the 30th anniversary edition of the 2024 monster. To make it stand out visually, Ducati has adorned the motorcycle with a special livery sporting an Italian tricolor flag comprising red, white, and green shades. It will be limited to just 500 units and each of them will come with its designated serial number on the top triple clamp. Moreover, there will be a special logo on the seat, a passenger seat cover, and a dedicated bike cover. 
the exclusivity of this edition goes beyond what meets the eye. For instance, the suspension duties are handled by US D forks and a monoshock with both being fully adjustable and sourced from Orleans. Even the braking hardware is equally premium. At the front, it gets Brembo Stylema monoblock calipers with aluminium flanges to reduce weight. The master cylinder is also supplied by Brembo while the brake pads are centered. Upping the exclusivity of the Monster 30th Anniversary Edition are carbon fiber mudguards, additional wet riding mode, a lithium-ion battery, and a reduction in its overall curb weight. What remains the same as the standard model is its 937 cubic centimeters, Testostrata, 11 degree, twin cylinder engine that produces 110 brake horsepower of max power and 93 newton meters of torque. Lighter, with carbon fiber mudguards, a Termignoni exhaust and commemorative 30th anniversary, only 500 units of the Ducati Monster 30th Anniversario will be made. Only 500 units of Monster 30th Anniversary model will be offered. Meanwhile, his refined 7-spoke cast wheels and a set of upgraded Brembo, his calipers sharpen the chassis. Weight reduction also seems to be a build priority, as Betsy employs carbon fiber front rear tire guards, exhaust tips, cylinder cover inserts, radiator shrouds and side body panels. A matte silver base symbolizes neutrality. From the appearance of the Moto Guzzi V100 Sport Strata 2024, you can feel the commitment to the commercial model tubular steel lattice frame and cantilever swing arm. While red accents complement the packaging. Of course, his standard B100 Mandelo is eye catching in and of itself, but we don't blame Moto introducing a Neo Retro based on a sports tour. The rest of the body also blends tradition with modernity, incorporating elements such as the fuel tank gill and digital dashboard into the overall traditional design. Naturally, the V100 Sport Strata does away with springs for the passenger pegs and rear set in order to live up to its sporting ambitions. Previously, we already talked about the appearance of the new Moto Guzzi V100 Stelvio, which is built based on the current V100 Mandelo. Yeah, I just wanna be the spy photo of the new Stelvio taking a road test indicate that this new Moto Guzzi S bike is ready for mass production. And recently, a designer Oberden Betsy made a concept of the new Moto Guzzi V100 Sport Strata, which is also built based on the current V100 Mandelo. It is powered by the compact block engine of the V100 Mandelo, a 90-degree transversal V-twin of 1,042 cubic centimeters. But looks like a nasty and sporty naked. So keep watching. On the basis of the new Moto Guzzi V100 Mandelo, the designer Oberden Betsy hypothesizes a new V100 Sport Strata, a nasty and sporty naked. A motorcycle which, according to the designer, could play the role of the most extreme Moto Guzzi ever, which could capture the attention of even those who have never considered choosing a motorcycle from Mandelo. Suzuki previously announced its plans to withdraw completely from racing. This was almost always true, as the brand withdrew from the most prestigious two-wheel racing series, MotoGP. However, the Japanese manufacturer decided that it would continue its racing prowess in the EWC with the very successful Suzuki Endurance Racing Team, currently fourth in the 2023 standings. In the fall of 2022, Suzuki released a special edition Hayabusa, inspired by the iconic Bol Dior Endurance Race in France. This time, with summer in full swing, Suzuki has unveiled yet another limited edition sports machine. This time, the Japanese manufacturer has released a race edition of the popular naked bike, the GSX-S1000. Here, we find a unique color inspired by the Suzuki Endurance Racing Team, as well as the addition of some upgrades to give the bike a sportier feel and better performance. With the Suzuki GSX-S1000 Race Edition, Suzuki has transformed a standard GSX-S1000 into a track-ready machine. For starters, it gets a new rear end to provide a sportier line, as well as a full set of engine and crankcase guards from GB Racing. Of course, nothing expresses track readiness more than a seat fairing, as well as red-painted Brembo calipers. 
To offer the bike a little more noise, the race edition also includes an Acropovic exhaust system. On top of all this, the limited edition Naked Sport Bike includes a numbered Surt FW plate and a welcome pack that includes a hat and a t-shirt. From a performance standpoint, nothing really changes, as the race edition is essentially a cosmetic upgrade kit, with the exception of the Acropovic system, which could add maybe 2 or 3 horsepower. That said, Suzuki's 999 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled, fuel-injected inline four-cylinder engine, with a maximum output of 152 horsepower, is Suzuki's most powerful engine. As for price and availability, the Suzuki GSX-S1000 Race Edition is a limited release exclusive to the French market. A range of accessories and extravagant decoration are quite expensive, with the bike selling for 16,999 to 3,500 euros more than the standard model.